Mastering Conjunctions, Avoiding Fragment Errors. Hello language enthusiasts. Today, we are going to delve deep into a common problem area when learning English, conjunction errors. Our focus will be on a very specific but important topic, fragment errors. By the end of this video, you'll have a better understanding of how to avoid these common errors when using conjunctions to connect words, phrases, and clauses. So, what are fragment errors? In English grammar, a fragment is a group of words that looks like a sentence but isn't a complete idea. These are incomplete sentences, often lacking a subject, verb, or complete thought. Fragment errors often arise when conjunctions are used incorrectly. Let's look at some of the most common fragment errors that occur when using conjunctions. 1. Starting a sentence with a coordinating conjunction. Coordinating conjunctions include for, and, nor, but, or, yet, and, so. A common error is starting a sentence with one of these, which can lead to a fragment. For instance, and reads books. This sentence lacks a subject, making it a fragment. 2. Using a subordinating conjunction without a main clause. Subordinating conjunctions like, because, although, when, etc., need to be used with a main clause to express a complete thought. For instance, although it rained. This sentence lacks a main clause, hence it's a fragment. Now, how can we avoid these fragment errors? Here are some tips. 1. Avoid starting sentences with coordinating conjunctions. Instead of starting a sentence with a coordinating conjunction, try joining it to the preceding sentence. For example, he loves reading and reads books. Should be, he loves reading and reads books. 2. Always pair a subordinating conjunction with a main clause. When using a subordinating conjunction, make sure it is connected to a main clause to complete the thought. For example, although it rained, should be, although it rained, we still had the picnic. 3. Review and edit. Always review your sentences to check if they express a complete idea. If not, revise to eliminate any fragment errors. That wraps up our discussion on fragment errors related to conjunction usage. Remember, the key to mastering conjunctions and avoiding fragment errors is to understand that every sentence must express a complete thought. Keep practicing, and soon, you'll find that these errors become less and less frequent in your writing. Stay curious, keep learning, and see you in our next video.